even if Dubai Creek Harbor is not your area of focus, you need to know about it because uh, over the past few years, it's been one of the most popular areas in Dubai real estate market. Uh, over the past 12 months, there have been over 4,000 transactions in Dubai Creek Harbor, including the primary and secondary, uh, with a total value of over 8.7 billion dirhams. Almost 9 billion dirhams worth of transactions happened in Dubai Creek Harbor for an area uh, where the average price is like 1830, 1800 dirhams per square foot, which means it's been one of the most popular areas. So here we'll, we'll uh, talk about Dubai Creek Harbor, the reasons behind so much uh, of uh, popularity, transactions, and high occupancy in Dubai Creek Harbor. Uh, Dubai Creek Harbor is located in a distance of 9 kilometers to downtown. It takes you 10 minutes and 4 kilometers to DXP, Dubai International Airport, which is also 10 minutes to Dubai Creek Harbor. It'll take 4, four to 5 minutes to Dubai Festival City from Dubai Creek Harbor. There are two entrances, one from Ras Al Khor and one from Festival City, which is already uh, operational. Uh, it's located near to the Wildlife Sanctuary, which is a 6.2 square kilometer protected and preserved area with a lot of birds, 67 species of birds, including hundreds of pink flamingos over there. Uh, this is how the Bike Creek Harbor looks like. It includes a mainland and an island. The total land area of the project is 5.5 square kilometer, which makes it double the size of uh, downtown Dubai, which is 2.2 square kilometers. The uh, project is planned for 200,000 population. Okay. Uh, as of now, the Creek Island is almost complete. More than 23 projects are already completed because of the waterfront living, because of the family friendly uh, amenities and, and common areas and proximity and easy access to Festival City, to downtown and to Ras Al Khor and Al Khail Road. It's having a very high occupancy rate at the moment. Uh, uh, the master development was launched, it was earlier launched by Sama Dubai. I don't want to go back to the history of the previous project, but uh, the Dubai Creek Harbor, as you see it here, was, was first announced by Yamar in 2014. Uh, at that time, there were two towers, like a golden twin towers in the center, where Dubai Tower, Dubai, their tower or Dubai Creek Tower is. But later, in June 2016, uh, Dubai Creek Tower, earlier named as their tower, uh, was announced by Yamar in June 2016. The first project launched in Dubai Creek Harbor was the uh, Dubai Creek Residences, which are six towers, 30, 35, and 40 floors on the right side of Vida Hotel, and 30, 35, and 40 floors on the left side, with a total of 872 units of one to four bedrooms. Let's have a look at uh, Dubai Creek Tower. It's an iconic development uh, with a height of at least 100 meters taller than Burj Khalifa. This is what Amar officially announced. Uh, some uh, designing and architect architecture companies in Europe, they studied and they did some calculations on the perspectives and the renders and videos that Amar published. And based on those calculations, they said they estimated a height of 1,350 meters height for Dubai Creek Harbor, Dubai Creek Tower. Uh, so uh, it's an iconic Eiffel type tower. The uh, design is inspired by a lily flower and a minaret, minaret of the mosque. So it's like an upside down lily flower and a minaret on top. There are no units, basically, no residential or commercial units in the tower. On top, well, you have the opal-shaped bud. Uh, the plan is to have 10 floors of observation decks, including one floor of pinnacle room, where you will get the 
360 views of uh, uh, the city. The tower is connected through cables to the ground. In addition to the 1,000 or 1,300 meters, whatever the height is, there is 25, 30 meters underground in the basement. The foundation of the project has already been done. Beneath the tower, you have a plaza. This circle is 500 meters around the circle, and the, where the, where, which makes a total area of 2,600 meters. It's called the plaza. The plaza is a place for walking and for socializing, which through an underground is connected to Dubai Square Mall. Let's have a look at Dubai Square Mall. So Dubai Square Mall is a $5.5 billion investment with uh, 750,000 square meters of gross floor area space, uh, which is uh, almost double the size of uh, Dubai Mall. The design is inspired by the world's largest shopping destinations like uh, Beverly Hills in Los Angeles and Oxford Street in London. Uh, the plan is uh, to create a real city atmosphere. The mall will have a glass floor and a lot of uh, open areas to give the feeling of a uh, kind of an indoor city. Uh, the mall will feature a lot of uh, uh, technology brands uh, in the fields of computing, automotive, 3D printing, AI, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, drones, and a lot of other advanced technologies. Uh, the mall will have three floors. The ground floor will be for the uh, events in the alleys and the streets. Like I said, it feels like an indoor city. On the first floor, you'll have a boulevard with four lanes. A virtual reality park will be there. You will have uh, luxury retails and outlets on the ground floor, on the first floor. And on the second floor, as you saw in the video, a lot of activities like an ice adventure, water park, cinemas, a huge supermarket, and a link to Metro is designed. Uh, a Metro line is proposed for Dubai Square Mall to go directly to DXP International Airport, which will be linked to the Dubai Square Mall. A uh, lot of art performances, exhibitions, permanent exhibitions, uh, sculptures, statues, and a lot of um, uh, concerts also will be are planned to be conducted in the mall. And uh, like I said, it will be directly connected uh, to uh, Dubai Creek Tower and the plaza through an uh, underground uh, connection. The uh, tower and the Dubai Square Mall are probably not the main key selling points of Dubai Creek Harbor. The lifestyle, the waterfront lifestyle is, the proximity, the location, what is existing in Dubai Creek Harbor is the key selling points. Not the mall, not the tower. Because uh, first of all, these are future developments. We don't have a completion date for them. Besides, we all know that Amar might change some features. They might be bigger or smaller. They might offer more or less. But uh, what the key selling points of the White Creek Harbor is, like today if you want to sell address JBR, you don't have to talk much about it. The key selling point is itself. The project is so matured and completed enough to sell itself, right? So what you sell in Dubai Creek Harbor is the location, existing amenities, waterfront living, at, at very affordable prices. Like I said, the average prices, including the waterfront units, including the best views uh, towards the creek and skyline of Dubai has been 1,800 per square foot, which is uh, an, 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 an amazing average price for such a waterfront. So I believe it's, a, it's an under, undervalued area at the moment. So between the plaza where the tower is and the island, you have uh, Creek Beach. In the Creek Beach, 10 projects has been announced already. You have a 300 meter white sands and an infinity pool. The reason the infinity pool is in front of the Creek Beach and it's privately accessible for the residents of Creek Beach projects, okay? So the reason for the infinity pool uh, at the Creek Beach is that this water is connected 
to the creek, to the sea, and to the ocean, so it's not a controllable water, so you can't really swim in there, in the canal. So in the canal, you won't have any places to, for swimming. That's why there is an infinity pool in front of the creek beach. In these phases, breeze, summer, sun, surf, all these projects have been launched. Total of 10 projects, including 30 buildings, with, if I'm not mistaken, 2,400 and something units have been launched and almost sold out so far. 50% of the units launched in the creek beach are one beds, 35% two beds, and 15% three beds so far, what have been launched till now. And this is, uh, by average, the most affordable area of the whole project. In the main island, the only part that has been launched till now is the Creek Beach, which are low-rise buildings, six to 11 floors. In each uh, building, you're having approximately 80, 85, 80 to 90 units in each building. Uh, during 2019 and 2020, when the market was down, when the pandemic was there, MR uh, sold many of these units with 40% uh, over two years majority, with 40% over two years post and overpayment plans. So many of those units are out there in the market right now. So this is where you, you have the opportunity to buy uh, about to be completed units with post and overpayment plans. Original prices of one beds are by average, let's say 900, 950,000 dirhams, and they are available in the market asking approximately 1.15, 1.2 million. 60% of the OP is paid. The premium we will pay at the time of transfer and 40% over two years after the handover. MR is planning to launch an open house and some events in the Creek Beach soon in the next few months, if not weeks. So, um, the infinity pool is ready, the projects are ready, the, pro the, the first buildings are getting handed over. And uh, among the ones that they have launched so far, the last one will be completed in 2025. So from March until 2025, every few months you will have a building to be completed. Majority 6 to 11 floors, uh, except Vida, Vida, Vida Creek, which is taller. So, yeah. Uh, this is how the infinity pool and the white sandy beaches of the Creek Beach look like. The pedestrian walk is also designed by Calatrava, by the same designer architect of the uh, Dubai Creek Tower. So this pedestrian, there are three bridges that connect the mainland to the island. These two are for cars. This one gets you to Rasenkhol Road. This one gets you to Festival City, right? The pedestrian walk from here, from the center of the park, which is a 70,000 square meter central park, to the center of the plaza where the Dubai Creek Tower is, you have a distance of 1,200 meters walking and straight walking tra track. So from the center of the plaza, from Dubai Creek Tower, all the way to Harbor Point or the viewing point or the Harbor Point, there is a straight line good for walking. Rose water in the second phase of Creek Beach. These are the projects that have been launched so far, 10 projects, Surf, Vida, Grove, and so on. There are a few projects left over here, so you can expect some launches of some low rises in this part of the uh, Creek Beach, which you can expect to be launched later this year. This is how the island district looks like. So around the island, you're having a four kilometer jogging and walking uh, track facing the water. Uh, 23 projects are already completed here. Dubai Creek residences were the, uh, Dubai Creek residences towers north one, two, three and south one, two, three were the first ones. 30, 35, 40 floors, 30, 35, 40 floors. Vida Hotel in the middle, already completed. Harbor views with 50 floors height, 770 units of one to four bedrooms mostly, was the next project that was launched in Feb 2016, if I'm not mistaken. 
before the harbor views was launched before the launch of the tower. And then the rest of the projects. This is where your new project, Palace Residence North, is. These two are not launched yet. Everything else is launched and almost sold out. The Cove 2 was launched. This is the last one. Again, this plot of land is uh, planned for low-rise buildings. So it will be either Cove 3, we are expecting, not confirmed yet, we are expecting this to be Cove 3 or a resort project. Okay? But definitely the plan is to be a low rise. It won't be a high rise. So that is the one left. These two will be, of course, high rises to be launched later, low rise. Most probably you'll have a commercial uh, district here. And that's it. Everything else is sold. Park Island was also sold. Uh, remember, in Address Harbor Point, which one is tower one? The taller one or the shorter one? The shorter one. In almost every other project, our Amar Tower one is the taller one. In Address Harbor Point, the shorter one is tower one. These are the projects, uh, like I said, uh, 16, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 16 projects completed and handed over. Address Harbor Point will be handed over. I mean, the address hotel is handed over already and Harbor Point units, residences will be handed over soon. This is how the Central Park looks like. 70,000 square meters with kids playing area. This is one of your key selling points of Dubai Creek Harbor. See, one thing you guys should understand that as you see in the picture, almost every unit in, Dubai, in, the, in the Creek Island gets a view. Every unit gets a view, either facing the park or the canal or the creek facing Jaddaf or the creek facing skyline of Dubai and downtown or the creek facing um, wildlife sanctuary. So every unit gets a little bit of a view. This is one of the uh, features of the of, of Dubai Creek Harbor. So this is how your creek marina looks like with the um, yachts, berths in front, Vida Hotel in the middle, and Dubai Creek residences on your right and left. Harbor promenade in front of uh, Grand and Address Harbor Point with a lot of dining and restaurants. And the 500 meters length of walking on the water. The Cove 2 was the last project launched before the release of Creek Edge. Creek Edge was launched before, but because of the reasons you know, units were released recently, still there are availabilities in Creek Edge. Buildings one, two, three are already completed. Buildings four to 11 were launched recently. Still, there are very few units available in the Cove. The uh, prices in the Cove are ranging, in the Cove two, are ranging from how much to how much per square foot? 1700 to 2700 dirhams per square foot, which is an amazing price. So for the best view in the cove, you're not paying more than 2700 dirhams per square foot, which is amazing because direct, super undervalued, bro. Look at, compare it with any other waterfront project in Dubai, right? I mean, in the prime locations, developed by Amar, direct from the developer. In the White Creek Harbor, such a location, low rises, more of common areas, more privacy, right? Um, uh, category A project, which is the highest category of residential apartments before you go to the branded ones. I mean, up besides, um, the, well, besides the branded ones like Bulgari, Addresses, Vidas, St. Regis, besides the branded ones in the residential, this is the highest category from Amar development's point of view, category A project, you're not paying maximum 2,700 dirhams per square foot, which is amazing because every other water project that I know of is not less than 3,500 to 4,000. Yeah, you have projects up to 16,000, 17,000 per square foot also, but still. So yeah, it's a very undervalued. This is the availability of Yesterday when I was preparing, of course, it keeps changing. There are thousands of agents all over the world who are working on these availabilities, so they keep changing. New units come, some clients they cancel, some clients upgrade, some clients downgrade. So there is a lot of fluctuations in the availability of the Cove these days. Uh, two beds are starting from 2.1 million. 2.1 million is the price of two beds facing the 
creek facing the island not facing the water so the best view two beds are uh, priced for 3 to 3.1 million the best view best view units in buildings 10 and 11 like the ones which are on the sides okay are priced at 3 million dirhams Building four facing the water, you'll get 2.5 million. Building four facing the back, you get 2.1 million. Building 10, 11 facing the water, you'll get 3 million, 2.9 million, 3.1 million. Baden uh, Creek Edge was launched earlier under construction, planned to be delivered in completion of Creek Edge. Next year. March 2024, one year from now. Uh, new units released recently because of the reasons you know. Uh, it enjoys panoramic views to the creek facing the skyline of Dubai from your left and Jaddaf on, on, on top. It's located right, right next to Address Harbor Point. You have Harbor Promenade in front of the Grand and Address Harbor Point. You have a park in front of Creek Edge which was previously launched, called the uh, Creekside Park. And uh, full amenities, infinity pool, uh, cabanas, yoga areas, barbecue, gym, children play areas, and so on. So in Creek Edge, we are getting one bed starting from 1.28 million. Remember, the biggest in size by average, the biggest units in size by average in Dubai Creek Harbor are in which project? Dubai Creek residences are the biggest in size by average. The average size of one bedroom in Dubai Creek residences is 1,016 square feet. They are starting from 878 to 1715 square foot. The average size of two beds is 1,600 square feet, which is huge. In, in the other projects, your average size of the two bedroom is like 1,100. Dubai Creek residences are having the biggest size by average. Most of the projects that Amar is, is, is launching these days are getting uh, an 80-20 payment plan. In Creek Edge, you're having 70-30. Completion in one year, 30% of the time of completion. Palace Residence North. Guys, remember I told you over the past one year, the average price of 4, 000, over 4,000 transactions, including the secondary market, including the waterfront units, in the secondary market, there's been 1,800 dirhams per square foot, including the unbranded residences. Now, Palace Residences North, which is going to be a copy of Palace Residences. You have Palace, uh, Palace Creek, Palace Residences, Palace Creek, Palace Residences North. So this is a copy of this. Here, you're buying branded residences on the canal, with view to the canal with view to the creek beach, with view to the tower, direct from Amal, four years payment plan for the same price of the average three units in the secondary market, including the branded and unbranded and back view and front view units. So this means we are expecting Palace Residences North to go like this. So the one beds are starting from 1.2 million, two beds are starting from 1.7 million for the ones, uh, for the corner units in the back, for these corner units, prices are starting from 1.7 million. In the back you have two beds in the corners and one bed in the middle, and then in the front you have the three beds and two beds facing the canal, the pedestrian walk which is beautiful, and the creek beach and infinity pool, and the Dubai Creek Tower. Uh, the completion is expect is in four years and four months, which is June 27, 20% on handover. So this is the hottest project as of now.